we start the uh, Board of Works meeting today, we're going to have an invocation <coughs> going to be given by Pastor Phillips, Connorsville Baptist Temple, and he's got his supporter over there with him, Doug Kaler, <laughs> and uh, we're going to have the pledge, and we have the honor today to have our attorney, John Baker, lead us. So with that, I'd like for us all to stand. <coughs> John? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. you remain standing, please. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day and this opportunity that brings us together uh, in this room to be able to conduct the business of this city. Lord, I pray for these ladies and gentlemen that are in this room uh, this afternoon that you will bless them with the wisdom and the strength uh, and the guidance that they need uh, to guide our city in the way that you would be honored and glorified with it. Lord, I pray that you will bless us and give us exactly what we need each and every day. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Call the meeting of the Board of Work, Public Works and Safety <coughs> Order, and our first order of business will be roll call. Jane Oakley, present. Fran Chalmers, present. Leonard Urban, present. Mike Bishop, present. Ron Coldiron, present. And ask that everybody turn their phones to the vibrate position or to the off position, whichever is handy. And uh, meeting of the minutes of the last meeting of uh, December 1st, 2014. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve the meeting, the minutes of the last meeting as they've been presented here this afternoon. Second. Got a motion and a second. We approve the minutes as they were sent out to the members of the Board of Works. Are there any additions or corrections? None appearing. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Uh, I snuck in a little thing here under new business. The U.S. Bank has ordered a new air conditioning unit. There's a company coming in, and the building is quite tall, and they want me to be able to shut the street down. That would be 7th Street, am I right, on the north side? 6th Street. 6th Street, Street on the north side. Mm -hmm. I don't know the date, but I need permission for you when they come in. We've worked with Duke Energy. There's a high power line that runs above the bank, and Duke is going to disconnect it during the operation. I need your permission to give me permission that whenever they decide to do that, I can let them set a crane and close that street down. I don't have dates because they weren't sure when they could get the crane in here and coordinate it with the air conditioner. You mean from Eastern to Central? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make that motion. Second. second. Excuse me. A motion and second, giving the mayor permission when they put that new air conditioning unit <coughs> on the uh, U.S. Bank that I can close that street for a few hours while they put it up there. Any uh, objections? Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, we have uh, first order of business to open the bid, star development. It says Joyce McCarty, but I think it's Mr. McCarty <laughs> is here with us today and we will begin. This is a lengthy process. We started this, and you know, we've done it every year for several years. We sponsor this, and we pay the uh, match money, and we are able to fix up how many homes this year? Fifteen. Fifteen homes, and in years we've fixed up many, many homes. We've put roofs and bathrooms and furnaces, and we've done a lot of things. So uh, we'll be opening those bids today, and we'll be taking out our advisement. First one is... Uh, construction resources and I'm going to just read the addresses and the price uh, you want me to go slow you say right yeah. 2224 Virginia Avenue bid price for the entire job twenty five thousand eight hundred and seventeen ninety four you don't need to start and stop date do you no. okay uh, 109 South Grand Avenue forty six thousand one hundred and fifty five dollars and fifty nine cents Jump down to 2315 Vermont Avenue, fifty-seven thousand twenty-one dollars and twenty-one cents. Jump down to number nine, ten twenty North Grand Avenue. Got it? Yeah. Nineteen thousand two hundred and ninety-three ninety-eight. 
and then we'll go all the way down to 1500 Conwell. $25,809.12. That's construction resources. The next one would be Hopkins Home Improvement at 2224 Virginia Avenue, $14,325. 109 South Grand, $51,715. 216 West 11th Street, $34,213. Twenty-three fifteen Vermont, twenty-eight thousand five eighty-six. <coughs> Two fifteen Holly Street, eight thousand three hundred and forty-six. Skip down to number eight, eleven twelve Houghton. Eighteen thousand three sixty-four. 1020 North Grand, 9610. 119 North Fountain, 9756. 1813 Boulevard Place, 13,945. 3330 Beeson Avenue. Fifteen thousand four forty seven nine zero four West Tenth Street, twenty thousand nine hundred and seventy This is Taylor Home Center, 2224 Virginia Avenue, 16425 Drop down to 216 West Levin, 29165 Drop down to 215 Holly Street, 13696 2405 Vermont, Twenty two thousand nine thirty three eleven twelve Houghton twenty five thousand six twenty seven ten twenty North Grand ten thousand five forty one or is it sixteen thousand? Come back here and look at this. That, it looks like it's 10,541, but it could be. Can you look at this with me? It could be. Six. Well, could, we'll do one at each that's column six. up for you. It's, it, is that 10 or 16? That's 10. Okay. 10,541. 10, yeah, is it okay if I make that zero clear then so we know it's 10? Yeah. Like I said, we'll go down at each column up to make sure it adds up correctly. That's what we do. 119 North Fountain. 13,435, 1830 Boulevard Place, 22,055, 3330 Beeson Avenue, $21,098, 21 and then the last one is 1500 Conwell. Twenty-eight thousand five seventy-five. Is this the last one? Yeah. <coughs> Aluminum Brothers LLC. That's what that says. Does that sound right to you, Aluminum yep. Brothers? Okay. Yeah, I'm rich. Okay. 
2224 Virginia Avenue. 15,185. 216 West 11th. $23,099. 2315 Vermont. 27,629. 215 Holly Street, $15,066. 318 West 17th Street, $37,821. 1020 North Grand, $12,988. 119 Fountain Street, $15,060. D-O <clears throat> some things and some incorporate. What is that? Oh, not the down the outside. Not the down the outside. You know okay. what it is? You got a rush bill. He's right here. Okay. Oh, he just walked out. Oh, he just walked what, out. What is What's the name of his company? It's D-O Corn. Corn. Yeah. C-O-R-M. Yeah. Corn. Yeah. And so, okay, here we go. 2224 Virginia, $10,001. 109 South Grand, $29,501. 216 West Levin, $17,100. 2315 Vermont, $22,300. 215 Holly Street, $8,300. 2405 Vermont, $17,026. 1112 Houghton, $14,669. 1020 North Grand, $5,450. 119 North Houghton, 8300 1830 Boulevard Place, 10,950. 3330 Beeson Avenue, $14,089. And 1500 Conwell, 15,775. That it? That's it. Hey, we did good. Okay. We did good. I want to appoint a committee then uh, to work with you, okay. Mr. McCarty, uh, Fran Schommel, and uh, Mike Bishop. We'll work with you to look at those bids and make the recommendations for acceptance. Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, his phone number is 825-516-5125. And what's your phone number? When he gets ready. 265-7708. Okay. And will the procedure be at the next board meet? We can accept these or? Yeah, probably next month. Okay. So we'll meet the... Uh, fifth is the first one. Fifth, the fifth at 1.30, okay. 1 o'clock. We'll try to have them done by then. Okay, with those two guys will work with you and we'll get that Because what out. I'll do, I'll go back and see, talk to the contractor, then I'll talk to the homeowner, make sure everybody's on the same page. And when we go to award them, everybody's on the same page. Okay. Could so, you uh, summarize all that into like, yes. so we don't have to yeah. look at all this? Actually, things. I'll email Julie. Oh, that's Julie good. Email all you people. Thank you. Okay. Right now, they're taking money to advise <laughs> Okay. okay. Right, well, we'll be taking all these bids under advisement, and the committee will review and report at the next meeting. Okay. The next item of business would be resolution. 2014-68, and if you follow that down, you'll go all, all the way to 
it's the end of the year and all small transfers within the agency we shouldn't have any problem I'd like to take all those unless you got one of them you want to pick out of there you don't like I had a question yeah one of them uh, I don't know where it was. there are 22 of them so we won't uh, bore our viewers by no that's all right though if you have <laughs> questions well, I, I went over them this morning and I thought I understood most of them I guess the legal service is saying that 5400 that's um, 2014-73, Julie. Um, that was um, for uh, Barnes and Thornburg. We owed him money. John, what was that for? Yeah, I couldn't figure out what that was for. I, they asked me. No, we had a bill for it. What did they do? And for? I knew it. Yeah. You and I looked at Adam, Adam when I, I uh, mm -hmm. had to do with... Um, <laughs> Uh, certain matters regarding the uh, status of our uh, economic situation, I believe. Yes, and that's what that it was, was $5,000. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. I, I know what it is. Yeah. And the uh, overtime to the operator ordinance enforcer, what? what that's that just, I just didn't, when I appropriated money, I didn't appropriate enough in that to cover that. Okay. That's all I have. Your Honor, I make a motion that we accept resolution 2014 through 2000 or 2089, and there's 22 resolutions there that we have to sign and we pass. Please. I'll second that, please. I have a motion and a second. We pass resolutions 2014 68 to 2014 89 inclusive. Uh, I'm ready for discussion. Any discussion? Anybody out there have any discussion? None appearing. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. That took us down the agenda, didn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm going to call the utility people up here, please. Uh, Mike. Our first item is these agreements with the uh, Grand Avenue people. Is that our first item, or do you have something else? Um, Let's let's do that because I've got it first on my list here. The report or the I'll, I'll do this first. Okay, you do that first. That. Okay. Um, on the Grand Avenue project that we're working on from 20 to 24, we have three businesses: Maplewood Inn, Don's Dental Lab, and CEC. And when the building, or when the design was made. It was made that there was no driveway for Don's Dental Lab and there was no extension for the commercial sidewalk from CEC and there was it was confusing whether we would put concrete in front of the Maple Woody and you all yeah you got it. I'm just explaining to the group here what we're up to. Okay. We've argued over this now for the last three, four months. John and I visited those businesses about a week ago, ten days ago. We have signed contracts with each one of them. The city is going to have to pay the cost of the extension of the <coughs> sidewalk uh, on CEC, and the city is going to have to pay the cost of the curb cut and the drive into Don's Dental Lab because it was omitted in the plans. Uh, we tentatively agreed to that with a contract. I need your okay to say yes. Uh, it's only going to be t time and materials, all of this. No change order, <coughs> and I think I'm right, no drawings, right? We didn't have to pay no, for drawings, did no we? Drawings. All we got to do is for it, pay for material. Right. Okay. What about the third one there? There was one for the... Maplewood goes yeah. as planned. Okay. And she's agreed to that. Okay. Well, there's already a drive there, isn't there? That's We're at. On Maplewood? Yeah. That's what and I we'll, we'll have That's a nice our... drive there just like it was. Okay. Once you approve these, I'll sign them and we'll give them to the contractor and we'll move forward. I move we approve these requests for a couple of driveways and a sidewalk extension in conjunction with the sewer and installations at 20th to 24th. I'll second. I have a motion and a second to accept these uh, agreements. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. <coughs> All right, with your report. Uh, okay. Chief. 
<coughs> attached is my monthly report. Um, page one is our monthly revenue expenditure and balances. Um, if you notice, there's a little change to We added three graphs uh, to the bottom of the um, revenue report. Just another way to look at it. Trends and um, some people look at numbers different and graphs different. Um, the only thing really concerning is our sure um, expenditures are a little higher um, compared to our revenue, but basically it's due to our digester, two hundred thirty thousand um, dollars. We paid out a lot, um, all those retirees out of that fund, and also in February they replaced a the blower that wasn't really part of the um, you know unforeseen cost. Um, overtime report. $6,763. Uh, most of that is guys working the um, holidays at the water, wastewater plant. Um, work orders, had 49 work orders completed. Um, a lot of time was spent moving and repairing the meter pits on Grand Avenue project. Projects, uh, the Grand Avenue separation project is on hold until the weather breaks in March. Um, and also, um, I'm not for sure what I need, but we'd like to move on on the um, backtrack specifications and what we need to do. Um, we'd like to start taking bids on that. Attach, I have a copy of the specifications. Um, we have decided, um, we have looked at three different companies, pages and pages of specs. Um, we decided that we would do a simplified version of the specs, something that um, you know, me and Brad have seen all the trucks. We know what's on them. Um, <clears throat> so we want something basic, and those are the items that we are wanting to see on our truck. Um, so I'm not for sure if we need those approved so we can move on to the next step or what. The next step will be to advertise. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. The uh, present truck blew a hole in the tank, and <laughs> it is worthless to us at this point. Yeah. You can remember it's 23 years old, and what I'm proposing is to purchase this on a lease purchase plan. Uh, Julie will negotiate a rate once you and the council give us permission to move forward on, on the bids. We have, uh, I can't even remember how many lift stations, 21, 26, what is it? 24, 25. 26. 26. Well, I did have that one right. 26 lift stations <laughs> that have to be cleaned with that truck. It's like a big vacuum sticker down there and clean it. Uh, plus all the other things. The, the truck that they're specking out will pick up a brick in the bottom of that and suck a brick out. We, we get a lot of brick. Have to do that. Huh? I hope we don't have to we do, have that. To do that. We have to do that. A lot, of our, a, a lot of our catch basins, bricks fall in, uh, basketballs get in there, all kinds of stuff. And we have to suck that stuff out. They had me out in cold weather about a week ago, <laughs> like the froze dead, looking at back trucks. It was so cold, the water froze on the nozzle. And... Uh, they have worked on this and worked on it. We've got to get this done because we're in a pickle right now. We would have to rent a truck if we had the cleans up. What do you want from us today? I want permission to go ahead and advertise the specs that they've developed. I think they've done a good job. I went over them this morning. I don't know anything about a back truck, but it looks good to me. I'll make that motion that we authorize them to advertise. I'll second that. Okay. Ronnie, you know anything about a back truck? I know more than I did a month ago. <laughs> We Can I write a book on, on it? No. <laughs> we talked about it, Leonard. Mike and I had a meeting earlier this week, and we talked about it. We've got a pretty good idea in our mind what we we know what we want, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. Okay. All right. You got a motion and a second that we uh, go ahead and give the guys permission to advertise, and then of course we got to face the other issue with the council to uh, finance it. Uh, any further discussion, Jane? You have any? You're always a truck person. And, no, I. Um, you looked at them. I, I was more the chassis person underneath, but um, they did a great job looking at what they needed, <coughs> sorting through pages of specifications mm -hmm. and making sure they got what they needed for the city. I appreciate their hard work on it. It's yeah, just I, a domino effect with the repairs, yeah. Mayor. It's just not. Yeah. It's not going to get any better, mm -hmm. is it? Oh, no, the old truck we have, and the reason we went so simple, we didn't want to knock any vac companies out. If we went through a, you know, a specific. Everybody's different. One little thing, item's different, and it would knock them out. So that's why it went so simple. But the truck we have now, um, I don't even think he's had the repairs yet. So. 
Okay, uh, we got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor of allowing the utility uh, leaders to go ahead and advertise for bids, say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> go ahead and I don't know how you do that. You, you, Julie usually advertises okay. for bids, but whatever you want to do. I'll be with her then. Okay. So that's the last thing. It's nothing that you guys really need to do, um, but we are looking yeah. at creating a budget to work yeah. off of. A workable budget. Looked at 2013 numbers, 2014 numbers. Um, I passed out a, a general estimated budget and estimated revenue for 2015 that we're going to try to work off of. And also a task is um, kind of like a five-year planning, things that we'd like to see done um, over the next few years. Uh, I, For myself, I do have it all broken down, about 10 pages long of all the different accounts uh, and there's these three different budgets, but for simple today, I just have the lot sums. Um, the future planning, you know, it's, it's very important for us, especially maintenance, preventive maintenance, and a lot of these items that's on the list hasn't really been done in the last few years, so it's very important that we do that. Also, it will help us when we start talking about future planning with our rates later on. Um, like I said, me and Brad, we discuss this five-year planning probably on a weekly basis. We're always changing things, adding things, items, um, and, and it's, it's a list for us to tackle for the next few years. Um, examples um, on, the, on the list, you know, um, catch basins. Nothing has really been done with the catch basins unless it's awful, gets reported. So we're going to try to fix 12 a year, you know, for the next five years to try to get caught up some of this preventive maintenance. And those are the items that we have, um, including equipment, upgrades to our camera truck. Um, um, but, uh, we have a, uh, another thing that we discovered during the Grand Avenue projects is water valves. If a, if a main breaks, we can't shut it off. So we had to install valves to get a uh, area shut off to work on it. So um, we're going to look at areas in town that we can start putting valves in the water lines and um, so we can turn major leaks off so we can get them fixed, or at least slow them down. Um, I just want to bring this to your attention. That's what we're working on. Um, you can have those copies. Uh, if you want to add something to it, let us know. Any discussions? If you want to look at more detail, just come by the office and we can look at it. But um, this is what we're going to try to work off of. I don't think there's anything we really need to do with it. But just to let you guys know what we're doing. When I appointed these two guys and brought them to you for approval, I asked them, Rather than just fly by the seat of our pants, they would bring in, we got to do this, we got to do that. Give us a plan for five years out what has to be done so us and the next administration will know where they sit and keep track of what we've accomplished. Also, in order to get a true water rate and a sewer rate and a stormwater rate, we got to be able to give that sure. to whoever's studying that rate for us because they don't have any idea. <coughs> uh, I think we got a handle on it. Uh, the guys have been upgrading the handbook. They've been upgrading the office. They uh, are, are managing the office. I am very pleased with the way they've grabbed a hold of this thing. I just can't believe that in just a few months they grabbed a hold of it and are doing just a, a great job. And I think you all agree. Yes. Uh, so uh, I want them to give you this report that we're not flying by the seat of our pants anymore. We're trying to figure out where we have to spend money first and what we have to do. And one instance of what he was talking about, if we would have a leak over by that six story building and they're beginning they may start working on that thing in another six to eight months. There's no way to isolate the water in that building. There's no way in the world. They tried all night. That's when we lost the water pressure for the whole town. So that's one of the major items they're gonna to have to determine. They're gonna to have to be able to shut that down so they can work over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are several places around town like that that we just can't shut it down. If it leaks, it, it is leaks, mm -hmm. and they have to go in and fix it live. And that's tough, and especially when it's zero or raining or down in a hole. So uh, I appreciate what they've done. Any questions? Appreciate you, Mike, working <coughs> with them, and uh, uh, we're doing good. Mike, are all the residential meters in the new ones? Yes. Does that mean we're down to one meter reader? Um, yes. We're working on that. Um, We're still reading yeah, the If you look at the overtime report, there is like four hours for meter reading. He came in early before the traffic. 
so he can get through the whole town. And I'm, I'm sure we can get that knocked out after sure. he does it a couple of months. But okay. Yes. We've gone uh, from three to one. Uh, yeah, I know that was the aim to get down to yeah. one meter reader. And Okay, thanks. And in a few months, we'll be able to tell you if our revenue's picked up. I, I don't know if we know that yet, do we? It looks like it. We look at it. I mean, the, the revenue in the water's it's starting to come up a little it's bit. Positive, yeah, it's positive. Yeah, it's heading the right direction. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Okay, the next, next item then would be these ordinances. You can't actually pass an ordinance, but we're going to send these ordinances. We can't send them on to the city council until you approve them. Uh, I'm sure you've had uh, an opportunity to look at 6230, uh, excuse me, pending ordinance 3170. These are utility uh, ordinances that will be brought to the council tonight for approval. As I told you, there was only one change, and I did that in the pretreatment coordinator. It was my fault. When we hired her, she has a degree in chemistry and biology, I believe a master's, and I hired her at a rate lower than our least paid worker. It was not proper. I changed that to $34,500. So that is way below what she should be getting, but she's agreed to work for it at least for a couple of years. And I can tell you this, I talked with her supervisor down there, I talked with the two supervisors that are here, and she is an asset to the utility uh, I haven't had a letter from my damn since she, she took over. I used to get letters all the time. Uh, so I'd like you to pass that. That's the only change ever. Other than that, everything's the same as it was last year. You want to do both of them at once? You know, I would if you uh, if you want to do them separately. I don't care. Now, I'll make a motion that we accept uh, ordinance. Maybe, maybe we better do them separate because one's bargaining and one's non-bargaining. That's okay. You want individual? Thirty-one seventy <coughs> first, if you can. I recommend that we accept ordinance uh, number 3170. And if you want to do both of them, I'll make a recommendation we do 3171. Let's just do 3170. Do All we right. have a second to that? No. Second. Okay, a motion and a second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Jane Oakley? Yes. Fran Schulman? Yes. Leonard Urban? Yes. Mike Bishop? Yes. Ron Coldiron? Yes. Now the bargaining unit, that'd be 3171. And any, any discussion on that? No, no change. Everything is the same. I'm going to approve pending ordinance 3171. Send it on to City Council. Sir. Any uh, discussion? No. Um, we'll, we'll call them. Jane Oakley? <coughs> yes. Fran Schommel? Yes. Leonard Urban? Yes. Mike Bishop? Yes. Please. Ron Coliron? Yes. Those will be sent to the uh, Council tonight. For approval, we uh, also have, and you don't have it on yours. It's Melissa's fault. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> Opening bids for the F project. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it's my fault. I take the <laughs> responsibility. <laughs> this is the little F project. Uh, our Brad, you want to come up and talk about that? Huh? Jason, Jason, you want to come to the podium? Sure. I knew he was here. Huh? Page six has the photo. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you show me the page I need to read. Here's this one. Just a little bit more. There you go. And who submitted this? This is Brad Pink. Okay, this is Brackney. I think we've done some business with They did a bit job for us out there on Third Street, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is the little F project. Describe it, uh, Brad. I can't describe it. It starts at 21st and Grand, goes west to uh, Iowa, goes up Iowa half a block, and then picks up Vermont half a block. This is a project, an interim project we're doing to keep our uh, agreement with the agreed order. We have to have a project under construction, and we have to have one on the drawing board all the time or we're in violation. Yes. So this will keep us uh, on a project going when the 20th Street project's doing this will jump right in and go until we get the 24 to 30 
ready to go. This would be the first one that we worked on the design of this, so we tried to we downsized this pretty good bit from what it was going to be. So it was way over four hundred thousand dollars when we started, and four to five is what we initially talked yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, is your arm still sore from when I bent it? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're down to 392,885. Now that is the bid right here. Is that stormwater? 392,885. Yeah, stormwater finance. 392,885. Also on this project, we intend to use our own uh, uh, inspection. Uh, we have an agreement with Strand. They're going to come one day a week and help us, but we intend to do it ourselves. And that's the first bid. 392. That's Brackney 885. Everybody got her down. Okay. The second bid is Atlas Excavating. What's the name of it? Atlas, Atlas excavating. excavating out of West Lafayette. West Lafayette. That's the only two bids you got? That's it. Jeez. <laughs> Five hundred eleven thousand six hundred and forty-five dollars total bid. Atlas excavating. Now what I'm gonna do <coughs> what? These two bids to Typically, I'll review them for being complete. I want you to review them, and sure. your committee is going to be Ron Colrime. Okay. When you get ready to submit it to the Board of Works, I presume we'll do that in February or, or January. 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 Yeah. Ron will go over that with you. Okay. Yep. Then I'll um, He's issue a, a pair of little bitter letter based upon okay. making sure these are complete and everything's provided. Okay with you? Yep. Okay. Excellent. Board. Mm -hmm. Everybody okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Old business. You got any old business? Anyone? Anybody? Anybody out there? Fire chief? Um, we had already had a safety meeting and um, we met with Scott and the um, union member and um, we brought, Ronnie brought to my attention I um, hadn't been sticking anything in your reports for you. So what I did, I give you guys a report like I did at um, City Council, and I wanted to know if you had anything that you would like for me I to add. I think we got it. Yes. I didn't. Didn't get it this time? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Did we have it, Melissa? Is yeah. it yeah. worth this? Is this it? No, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. We got, it's in your council. So, I, I got one in the council. I got it. Yeah. It says overtime. Yeah, I got, got overtime in it, and then I got the uh, mileage on each of the trucks. Since you, um, since you take care of the trucks and all the runs, and I want to know if, if there's anything you would like to have from the fire department. Um, how much shall we spend on overtime and why we spend it on overtime? And then um, got an appropriate. The front page of this is the appropriations of what what we spend, which you probably need to know since you're responsible for everything. I have asked him to record each day the number of firemen on duty. I want a copy of that each month, and I've asked him to record every time that the fire truck goes out of the building, why and where. Uh, not particularly for you guys, but the city council asked me that all the time, and I can't keep track of it. Um, this is what I've been, we've been, what the difference is from last year to this year on monthly spending, the cost to run in the department. You can see it's quite a bit down. <coughs> Italian chiefs take care of different duties in the department. Tim takes care of the maintenance of the buildings, Tim McFarland. Johnny takes care of the offices as far as filing and, and stuff like that. Mike Reese takes care of um, equipments and maintenance. Um, there is some active grievances going on right now, so but I won't discuss those. I have talked with the union about those grievances. You have denied them. And I the, the union I have informed the union that we want to have a meeting with the Board of Works and the union. And that has been done. So we are within our time frame. So we'll, we'll all be meeting with the union set, uh, shortly. Once the, he denies the grievances, then we have to look at them, okay? 
but as you can see, we have been saving some money in the department, and it is, it is because the guys have rearranged their vacations. They've did everything in the world to save money in the department. So, yeah. I agree. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Yeah, I, and like Leonard said, there was a complaint about a fire truck being somewhere. Please call me because once they call Leonard and days elapse, you know, it's hard to track down. And I'm sure my guys don't run around in fire trucks because we don't save money like that by running around the fire trucks. I got a question if I'm made, Mayor. How's yeah. Shelbyville doing with the fire truck that we gave them? Are they using it? They're doing real good. Okay. They send me a picture of every once in a while. The guys, the kids are doing a little bit. Can we training. see some of that information, maybe just to yeah. Let us yeah. Know. I get you don't have to bring the whole bunch, but just yeah. something. I'm just curious. Yeah. Pretty good gift. Yeah. Will that Thank be yet this year, Scott? Will we meet yet this year, or will it be after the first year? Um, we can have a meeting. Our attorney won't be able to make it until after Christmas. I spoke with him. Well, I'll just leave it in your. Court, when you're ready, if you notify me, I'll call the Board of Works together. Uh, to have an official meeting, I have to have 24 hours. That's fine. 48, 48 hours. 48, I'm excuse me, 48 hours. That's fine. And can't count weekends. Right. <coughs> I don't do it on weekend either. I mean, I can't count that for my time to call a <coughs> right. meeting. Right. Okay. All right. Any other old business? <coughs> Miscellaneous business. Ronnie, you got anything? No, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, Okay, and uh, Mike, I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish everyone a very, very Merry Christmas and a blessed Christmas. It's been a tough year for us, and we're doing the best we can with what we've got to work with. So, peace on earth to all of you. Gene, you got anything? Yes, sir. Graham? No, I have nothing. Thank you. Okay, I'll have to take claims then. Claims, utilities, <coughs> water is 93000 $93,665.11. The sewer is up. It's two twenty-seven, three thirty-nine, but there are 154000 of that was for a pump. Stormwater is $7,197.15. Trash was $51,033.81 for a total of $379 or $379,235.07. Uh, the city claims that uh, two weeks ago we had um, five pages. We have uh, ten pages today. <laughs> <Yeah. you> know, <laughs> if that might tell you what what's going to happen. 282 claims for $429,687.48. Uh, we had some big ones <laughs> in this one. Uh, 200000 for Western Avenue. 30000 for our 911 payment. Almost 60000 for a pool payment. Yeah, $60,000. Right cool. in the uh, new ambulance chassis yeah. was uh, 46000 $46, We had trash uh, to the landfill of 18000 plus, but uh, so it's easy to see why we're, uh, we're at 429 I guess. Julie, I had one on this cheese thing of uh, 7920 uh, That's Diana's grant. Oh, okay. That's not really That's our money. Through. It's a Oh, I didn't understand what that was all about. So, so pass through thing, that. and the guy will pass through. That. Okay, so that's two two eighty two again with four hundred twenty nine thousand six hundred eighty seven dollars and forty eight cents. Yeah, but it's not showing up in there. I move we accept the claims that they, including payroll, as they've been submitted here this afternoon. Second. I have a motion and second that we accept the claims as they were printed and sent out. <clears throat> Any discussion? I have a roll call vote. Jane Oakley? Yes. Fran Schultz? Yes. Leonard Urban? Yes. Mike Bishop? Yes. Ron Coldiron? <coughs> All have voted yes. That approves the claims, both for utility and for the city. Uh, city Christmas luncheon has been changed to the 19th of December, which is Friday. That's a week from this Friday at uh, Roberts Building. It is this Friday. It there. is this Friday. <laughs> I thought Christmas was still a month away. Sorry, I'm sneaking up on you. It it's this Friday, guys, and it's, listen to me, it's at the Roberts Building. We had to move out because we rented the building, okay? <laughs> and we didn't want to lose that rent. So we're meeting at the Roberts Building. Everybody, it's uh, it's furnished uh, uh, for you. There's no cost to you, and there's no cost to the city or the taxpayer. So you want to be sure and attend. It's always very well. Uh, done so please on the 19th at 11 30 uh, we will give permission to close city hall for a couple hours 
Uh, we'll close all the other departments except police and fire. They will try to come with their fire trucks and their police cars and eat with us. Uh, please try and come because uh, these companies that come out here and, and furnish us for them, it's an appreciation for doing business and being uh, partners with the city. Uh, public forum, anybody out come here to have any business today? Scott Jones, President of Firefighters. Uh, the last meeting before Christmas, so you know, we thought we would get you guys a little bit of something. We got some t-shirts left over from our breast cancer awareness uh, that we do every October. Um, so we thought we'd give you guys each a shirt. Hey, that's the nice. shirt. <laughs> Can I have a black one instead of a pink one? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, despite some of the disagreements, you know, that we've had, you know, I think it's all important, you know, that we all get along and you know, we're all here, you know, we're all here for a purpose. You know, we're all here to do the best we can for, you know, the citizens of the city. You know, you guys run the city and you know, we fight fire. So, you know, I think it's, I think it's good that, you know, we all do the best we can to try to do you know, despite everything else going on. So, well, I but anyways. I appreciate the cooperation from you guys because uh, you're well under 200,000, which uh, is 200 and 200 plus thousand the average monthly. And now you guys are like, 185 and things like that. So it, uh, I appreciate that. Well, it's like you know, the chief said. You know, we've worked hard to try and you know cut back. Yes, you know, we, I think know. it's 321,000 total for the year, yep. and that's what we hoped it would be. Plus all the other cuts we've made. <coughs> uh, Julie, how long has it been since we had an additional appropriation? Oh, we just did the one for the. Thanks, fire. God. Thank you, Scotty. Appreciate it. EMS. Yeah. That's the only thing we've done in general fund all year. Uh, she'll look nice and pink. <laughs> Thank now, you. you do have to wear that at least one time. Okay, I may wear it to the meeting. I think yeah. you might cringe putting it on, Thanks, but you yeah. got <laughs> Why would I cringe? <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Right, that's all I got. Thank you, Scott. Thank Thanks, you. Scott. Is there anything else under public forum? Okay. Uh, Jason, if you'll come up to the podium a minute. We've uh, worked with Jason Chop. We started out when we did the Milton Project. He was very instrumental in working with us on the Milton Project. It's been a great project for us because we got a sewer line all the way from Milton to Connorsville, and we now have sewer and water at our 58 acres, uh, which is economic development. We could have never done that without that. All that it would take there would be a lift station and we'd be ready to go. We've worked with him on many deals and. Yes, things they, they've helped us out and his company uh, Strand uh, has already received the bid to engineer the project so it's not a graph or a payment but they are paying for the Christmas party this year uh -huh. or for the Christmas dinner <clears throat> this is perfectly legal as long as they buy it for the whole city and not just for the mayor or not just for Mike or not just for Fran as long as they invite the entire city engineering companies all over the state of Indiana do these kind of things. Strand will be paying for your uh, Christmas dinner this year. Wow. In token of their appreciation for the relationship. <laughs> so we do appreciate that. Yes. Thank we you. want you to Thank come you. and enjoy it with us. I will be there. I have the uh, I have the afternoon plans. To okay. Come, so. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so I'm, much. I might bring my family with That's that's, that's cool. what you're paying for it, whatever you want to <laughs> do. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. That's perfect. Anything else under public forum? Are you in a race to get out of here? <laughs> you to like how lucky we are to have Would you approach the podium, please, Mr. Selke? No singing, no singing. Please approach the podium. <laughs> let that, let the record show that uh, Mr. Selke came out of retirement to work for one month, right? That's the uh, plan. Tentative plan. That's the tentative game plan. Well, we want you to know that we're glad to have you back. You look just like you always did. <laughs> I always look like. And uh, anyway, we do appreciate you and thank you for coming. Well, it's good to be back. Is it temporary? Temporary. All right. Thank you and uh, we appreciate you. Thanks, Wade. I want to get you on TV. See, this is where I don't belong. <laughs> Are we adjourned? Yeah, not quite. Daryl's uh, Daryl's going to stay with us, so we won't make any big issue. <laughs> I'll take a motion to adjourn if you're ready. So moved. Second.
Got a motion to adjourn and a second. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried and means adjourned.